Now, yeah. I'm sure everyone, as they have recognized Katrina, they are going to recognize Derek Quick. Yes. Oh, he's been on all kind of commercials. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but he is known as the voice. I couldn't wait to do that. I've been waiting all day to say that. <laughs> he has been called the voice since he was seven years old, everybody. He is a remarkable talent, phenomenal. He's done voiceover mm -hmm. talent. He's been in so many things. You, you've seen him all the time. He's been in national crime series like TV One for My Man, the Investigation Discovery Channel, Maryland Public Television. Mm -hmm. He's been trained in church drama. And he's also been in Baltimore and DC roles in The Wizard, called The Wiz, because he played The Wizard. Yes. He was Curtis in Dream Girls, and he was as a guy in Raisin in the Sun. Mm. And you know, he wanted me to make sure that he tells you that if you ever want to hire him, that he's always <laughs> punctual, okay? He's receptive to direction, and he displays a great attitude. So we want everyone to know that he hit now, okay, now he paid me to say this, now that Derek has proven himself as a valuable asset to any production given the opportunity. So let us all welcome Derek Quick. Thank yes, you. yes, thank yes. you, thank you. This is so wonderful for us because we have had the pleasure to work with you both. Yes. yes. And let me say, people out there, they are both phenomenal artists, professional, and will be on time. Yes. <laughs> so, Mr. Quick. Yes, sir. I love that name. Yeah. Dirk Quick, he fast. <laughs> Dirk, tell us a little bit about that amazing voice you had. Um, what's interesting about it? Hello everyone, um, <laughs> I am known as The Voice. Um, ever since I was a child, I had a unique voice. Um, even in school, in elementary school, we used to have reading contests. Mm -hmm. And every time I would read, I would win the contest. I mean, and all the kids would be so envious or someone would be jealous. And I always wondered what would happen, I mean, what could I do with this voice as a young age? Because even at that age, they will always ask, what did you want to be when you grew up? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I didn't think about acting. Um, during that time, um, preaching was the thing, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I knew, because <clears throat> I would mostly see, as far as voice, or as far as people speaking, was a preacher. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's because I have a strong, rich spiritual background. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the church, and that's where um, a lot of my talent was developed. Ah, okay. Um, my family, I have a lot of family who are actors, professional actors. Mm -hmm. I have an uncle and a brother who were part of the histor historical famous arena players. Ah, oh, okay. okay. I know about them. Yes. And um, we all went to the same church, and we did a lot of different plays. Matter of fact, the director um, during that time was the mother of of um, uh, the guy who played on Good Times, uh, played Evans. The, the oh, okay. Sister. John Amos? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. No, not John Amos. Um, okay. Tell me about Not Good Times, the Jeffersons. I'm sorry. The Jeffersons. The Jeffersons. Oh, oh, okay. The Jeffersons. Um, last name was Evans. Mm -hmm. And she, she really did help develop me. And um, she said, you need to do something with that voice. That voice is going to take you far. Mm -hmm. So, and even as a young child, I mean, now, people do not believe this about me. When I tell you this, you're not going to believe it, but I was very shy. <laughs> oh, no. I was very shy. I tell you, <laughs> I was very really? shy. If you, if you ask my mother, she would tell you, yeah, he's, he's, and I'm, and I'm still the, shy to quick quick guy. You <laughs> yeah, you are kind of, you know, I am shy. I mean, this was challenging to do this interview, believe it or not. <laughs> but um, um, as a young child, even with girls, we would talk, I would talk on the phone and they would be so intrigued by my voice that I was able to get girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a little bit of that. Was yeah, little, that's a little. But that's little okay. Yeah. 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 No, that's, that's part of your you experience. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so it's kind of funny that I connect with both, both of you. Mm -hmm. um, grew up in the church. My church was right across the street from my house. Okay. So I had no excuse then to go to church. Um, mm -hmm. So started in the church, did recitals mm -hmm. in the church. That's how I got 
comfortable on stage right. in the church. Um, so I understand that when you grow up and you do the plays and the dramas and the mm -hmm. Easter speeches and all this kind of good right. stuff. So I, I got what you're talking about. Um, always been interested in the arts mm -hmm. and that went into school and the college and drama. Mm -hmm. So um, going forward, um, tell us so the audience will know for those who are saying, oh, I want to do that. That sounds cool. Tell them about preparation. Okay, you know, you, you got the talent, you know you got the voice, you know that you can sing the piano and all this kind of stuff. So that's the natural that was given to you. But what do you need to do with that given talent to make it and go forward? Well, I think first you need to ask yourself the why. Okay. Um, why do you really want to do this? Um, is it just for a hobby? Is it for a career? Are you just in it just to try to make money? Or are you just trying to investigate? Mm -hmm. you know, why are you really doing this? And then what is it that you really want to do? Now, if you want to do theater, do you understand theater? <laughs> if you want to do film, do you really understand film? So now you have to study. You have to study the craft, study what it is. Um, get around people who understand the industry. Um, get around mentors coaches, mm -hmm. uh, take some classes. Now I would like to kind of explain how I got into this. Okay. As I shared earlier, I have a, a very rich spiritual background. And as a young man or young boy growing up in the church, um, what is interesting, because I had family who did theater, I really wanted to understand, okay, what is theater in the church? I mean, how can you use theater in the church? And one of the things they shared with me, now a lot of people don't talk about this. I've never heard too I many people talk about this. There you go. But when you look at the word theater itself and understand the origin of theater, it's a Greek word mm -hmm. um, called thea atrium, if you mm -hmm. break it down. Thea right. is like a, it's a Latin word, mm -hmm. the atrium. And if you understand thea, which is Greek, a lot of them study mythology. Mm -hmm. Thea was a Greek goddess. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> equivalent to that is Theos, which is God. Mm -hmm. So you got the Theos, one part of theater word, and then the other word, atrium, means arena right. yes. or open space. So when you put those two together, you got God's, you arena. Got God's arena. And I said, okay, <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> this sounds good. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we do, even in my present church now, um, let me give kudos to um, Apostle Lance Palmer, the River International Worship Center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when he preaches, we, we have what we call sermonic illustrations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what happens is, as he preaches, we actually illustrate and we actually act out what he's preaching. So in other words, if he's talking about someone who has an addiction problem, for instance, mm -hmm. I may be that character. Mm -hmm. And then he's preaching and talking about how one can overcome addiction, how one can be healed. Uh, whatever the issue is, I play that character mm -hmm. or in others who are in that particular group. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, theater, acting is a really effective tool even within to the church to communicate mm -hmm. and allow people to see themselves, make changes in their lives where it needs to be made. and. It's powerful, and I, and I really, I'm really thankful to God for that gift of acting. I people don't really it. understand. People haven't really grasped it yet. Well, they will. They will. But they will. <laughs> they will. Because, see, from my perspective as an acting coach and teacher, and, and studying with a lot of different teachers, and then studying the craft from the perspective of rendering that information to people who say they're interested, interested in this. Mm -hmm. And see, then I have to explain to them that, like you said, what's your why? Yes. The first question I ask my students when I, when I first meet them and we sit down in the room when the class has begun, mm -hmm. I want to know why you're here. Exactly. So, I want to do two things right now if we could. All right. I want you to do the voice. Oh, okay. That's one. That's one. And then you know what I'm going to ask you to do. What's that? We're going to find out. <laughs> Derek, can you give us a little rendition? Because okay. we, yes. we got about five minutes. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, since this is African American or his, Black History Month, mm -hmm. yeah. I want to do just a little piece um, by James Weldon Johnson called The Creation. 
and God stepped out on space. And as far as the eye of God could see, darkness covered everything. Blacker than a hundred midnights down in a cypress swamp. But God smiled and the light broke and the darkness rolled up on one side while light was standing on the other. And God said, that's good. Oh, nice. Amen. All right. <laughs> now, Katrina, you know, I don't know exactly how you want to do this. What? But can you do something for us? Anything? Oh, you know what? What? I'm going to tell you, I have lots of videos that you can look there up. There you go. That's on my <laughs> IG, <laughs> which is Cat Honey Love mm -hmm. at Instagram. And you can see a variety of different music. Okay. Well, as you see, Ladies and gentlemen, we have absolutely fabulous guests. I want to thank Katrina Allen. One more thing. Then. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Uh -oh. Don't, don't rush going? them off now. They I'm got not rushing. Things to say. We got no. Go now, ahead. two of the now, they, both of them are now in a web series called yes. Black Oaks. Remember Black what Oaks. it is. Yeah, Black Oaks. Oaks. Now, Black go right Oaks. now. Tell them about Black Oaks real yeah, quick. Real quick. Well, Black Oats is a national web series about three wealthy African-American dynasties in Maryland that are in pursuit of power, greed, love, and sustainability. Mm -hmm. It's old money versus new money. Mm -hmm. And it's a soap opera at its best. There will be three seasons of nonstop drama and plots to keep you on the edge of your seat. Mm -hmm. And right. it's going to start in the summer of 2020. Okay. All right. And you know, my character mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is Terrence Dushannon, and he's the head of one of the dynasties. Oh, you uh -oh. got money? Uh oh. I'm wait, wait, wait. I'm you got money. money? I'm old money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me get ready. You got oh, money? Oh, yeah. Okay. I got, I got they, more they, than money, honey. <laughs> Do they need a cougar? <laughs> well, he, he's got a few. Let me, let me put it that way. Use one more. <laughs> As okay. a matter of fact, I, 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 <laughs> she I, plays the mistress. Uh, oh yeah, you wait a minute. The, first, the secretary mm -hmm. and the mistress try, that's trying to take over. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's that's a, after no, him that's and a, a couple other things. For you. <laughs> but one last thing before we go. We know that you're on uh, We the People. Yes. There's a casting call. Tell us about that really, really quick. Edwin Playmaker, director and writer, as long, along with Jeremy Butler. They both wrote this, We the People. They, matter of fact, it's on uh, backstage. They got it already um, up on They had a casting call. They got a casting okay. call, which is April the 5th. But right now, you can send your headshots, your resume, if you have a reel, to um, WTPTheMovie at gmail.com. I'll repeat that. WTP the movie at gmail.com. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank, you. Eric. Thank, Thank you for having us. Oh, no, it was a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. Good luck in your careers. We'll be yes. seeing you for years to oh, come. Yeah. And we definitely want to have you back on the show, particularly after the show begins, Black Oaks. All right. Absolutely. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Guys.